Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. First have a look at these two pictures. The picture on the left is the picture of a fiber optic laryngoscopy using normal light. But the picture on the right is done using narrow band imaging technique. And have a look in narrow band imaging, although it is not so colorful, but it shows some mucosal details. So what is narrow band imaging and why does it show mucosal detail? I am going to discuss today. Normal light has seven colors in it. In case of narrow band imaging, with the help of a switch in the endoscope, a special filter is electronically activated. This filter filters out the blue and green light from the normal white light and only blue and green light are projected. Blue light has a wavelength of 450 nanometer and green light has an wavelength of 540 nanometer. The peak light absorption of hemoglobin occurs at these wavelengths. So blood vessels which contain blood and thus contain hemoglobin will absorb most of the lights and the blood vessels will appear very dark. This allows improved visibility of mucosal blood vessels which normally could not be seen using white light. Blue light highlights superficial capillary network and green light displays sub-epithelial vessels. In combination, the two wavelengths produce a very high contrast image of the tissue surface. So what is the advantage or use of this narrowband imaging? When there is precancerous or malignant mucosal lesion, these are associated with neoangiogenesis or formation of new blood vessels. Narrowband imaging helps us to better identify subtle microvascular abnormalities associated with precancerous or malignant lesion which will not be detected using white light. So this will guide us from which areas we have to take biopsy for diagnostic purpose. Narrowband imaging has sensitivity of 89% and the specificity of 93% in diagnosis of primary laryngeal lesion. It has some limitations. Learning curve is required to understand aberrant microvascular architecture. 